What? Welcome to the Weasley update, um, episode two. I am Aiden Weas. I'm stone, and I'm ready to fucking ramble. All right, dude. Um, well, I'm recording this on December eighth. Again, who knows uh, when this will be put out? Because this is only the second episode. And as I said in the last one, I keep telling myself I want to record at least three before I put one out. Um, but I honestly might up that to four or five just to get a better hang for it well man we have some shit to talk about first let me tell you about my night last night first thing you need to know about me to contextualize this story is that um i'm a homebody i'm like the most extroverted introvert out there i think because like when i meet people or, or like you know like at a party or something, meet new people. Really excited. I think I'm pretty good at making friends. Um, but the idea of leaving my house is like, ugh. Fuck that. So, last night I got dragged out of my house. And th this is because I, th I think I just got that shit out of my system in high school. Like in high school, it was just every fucking Friday and Saturday night. It was like, go, go, go. Like me and my friends were... What fucking party are we going to crash sort of thing. So I did a lot of that in high school and I'm just sort of over it. It was so weird too. It was like pretty much as soon as I graduated, I'd be at a party and I'd be like, what the fuck am I doing here? Like, I'm just hanging out with a bunch of strangers. And like, it, it's not that I don't like drinking or smoking. Obviously, that's the point of this fucking podcast. It's that I'd rather do that with a small group of people that I really like. Boys' nights at the cabin are always the best. Um, anyways, I got dragged out of my house last night because my cousin, who lives two hours away, um, was hucking it up to the old bee ham last night. And uh, and so he, he was hanging out with, uh, with some friends, and they invited me over. So I swung by, brought, brought the chong through, smoked everyone out, and... Um, had a blast. Met some, met some pretty cool new people. One of these dudes was fucking six ten. Like, no joke, six foot ten inches. Is that not stupidly fucking tall? And I get I'm biased because I'm a short ass dude, but it's like six ten. I've li I've literally never heard of that. I've heard of more extremes like seven three, but I think that's like a, a fucking disorder or something. Oh my god. That is ridiculously tall. Um, if I remember correctly, he was born in Denmark. So, that sort of makes sense, I, I think. Um, yeah, so last night I went over there, had fun, and then I went home. And um, basically, this girl hit me up and said to come through. And I went over and she was throwing a party. And so, and this was, it was like 1230 when I got home and when I left, and I was, like, on the verge of falling asleep when she hit me up, and I was like, ah, fuck it, like, I'll go out, show up, and it's a fucking party, and I was like, oh, no, this is, uh, this sort of sucks, because I'm, like, the one stranger there, so I just start trying to introduce myself to everybody, um, I was already a little bit stoned when I showed up, so, so that was nice, but I actually met this, uh, this pretty funny group of kids, dude, one of these guys, though, <laughs> one of these guys he's he says something about how he sits in gum we're in like this sh this fucking um garage where everyone's smoking and uh it's just me and these three other dudes and one of them is talking about how he sat in some gum and i was like oh you know like did you really sit in some gum that sucks and he was like oh yeah I sat in some gum, and they all started laughing, and then he just whipped his balls out and was like, look at all that gum. I sat in some gum, all right, and I was just like, whoa, 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 whoa. And he was not the only dude who whipped out his balls that night. It was a crazy, uh, crazy little endeavor. You know what was so fucking vindicating, though? <laughs> this was actually so awesome. So this girl and I are, are laying in bed, and I quoted, um, I quoted something from game of thrones and uh 
And she was like, oh, did Oberyn say that? And I was like, what? <laughs> um, so she watched the show and we just basically talk shit about the last season for like 30 minutes. It was so fucking awesome and so surprising. Because that, that show is super popular, but it's also still one of those nerdy things. I um, The problem isn't when I meet someone who doesn't like those things. The problem is when I do, because then I can't shut the fuck up about them. I can't, dude. Marvel, all that shit. It's uh, DC, for that matter. I'm not, like, one of those guys who's indifferent to Marvel or DC. I think that shit's fucking stupid. I think both are really good at their own things. Um, I think Marvel has been making better movies recently. Dude, Batman v Superman sucked dick. And I was so pumped. Like, for this, this is what a fat fucking nerd I am. For my birthday, probably my fucking 17th birthday, um, fuck, maybe later. No, no. It was my 17th birthday, and uh, as a gift, my parents paid for my friends and I to go see that at the local AMC theater. There was like fucking nine of us. We all had reserve seats. It was so fucking awesome. We show up and like right off the bat, spoilers if you haven't seen Batman v Superman, right off the bat when young Bruce Wayne is like floating through the well because of the bats, I was like, what in the fuck am I about to watch? Absolutely fucking ridiculous. And the movie... I was, it was not good. It was just trying to set up too much in one fucking movie. Like, if you took, like, the Flash, Aquaman, Wonder Woman cameos by themselves, they'd be really cool. But jamming all that shit in and then also having Flash come back from time. Like, I remember when my mom saw that, she didn't know who that was supposed to be. And she's well aware of who the fucking Flash is. She was watching that show at the time it's just like what the fuck and i respect where Zack snyder was trying to take it and i think that his version of justice league should go out oh, hashtag release the snyder cut um <laughs> i don't know that movie was just so ass though it did though have one of the best scenes in comic book history the um the scene where batman is kicking ass in the warehouse is so incredibly fucking badass and like everything I'd want a Batman uh, Ben Affleck was in my opinion Ben Affleck did get the best Batman treatment like I liked how he was scary you know what I mean hiding in the corner at the beginning that was fucking dope which is why I'm really sad to see his his Batman movie go I'm sure I'm excited for the Robert Pattinson one and, and I'm sure it's gonna be cool but I bet the Ben Affleck one was going to be so fucking badass. Dude, they cast Joe... I, I can never pronounce his name right. He played Al Cino in True Blood. His name is like Joe Mangel Leo or some shit like that. And uh, they cast him as Deathstroke. Put him in a little cameo in Justice League to set it up. And now it's not going fucking anywhere. And that would just be so fucking dope to see them both kick ass on screen. Ugh. <sighs> what could have been but I'm, I'm excited for the the patents and we'll uh we'll see where they take it i don't know i really want to watch that titans show on the dc universe platform i'm gonna do like the seven week free trial now that this season has ended and the quarter is almost up i have one more in class uh i guess not in class like uh Fuck, why can't I think of the word? Essay. I have an essay due Tuesday as a final. And that's it. And then Wednesday, I leave for Disneyland. Whoop, whoop. It's a big family trip. I'm super pumped. We also got some family friends coming, like some of my fucking favorite travel buddies. It is going to be a ridiculously fun trip. I'm packing almost literally only Wii gear. Like, I have, I'm pretty sure, a different Wii shirt for every day. I'm bringing, like, four different hoodies, some hats, my jacket, my champion jacket. Oh, my God. Let me tell I'm not even, like, trying to sell this thing. That champion jacket, the, uh, 
the waterproof one is like my favorite fucking jacket. So fucking dope. I love the yellow color. Yellow's just a color that's sort of hard to pull off. You can, you really have to do it in, in doses most of the time. But I said fucking. Much to my mom's dismay, I anticipate bringing that thing on this trip. I bet she'll uh, she won't like that for some family pictures. I'm actually gonna bring my nice camera. Um. I've got a DSLR that my, my buddy D-Man gave me for free. Uh, really couldn't tell you the model. Don't know shit about it. Um, but even that's better than my, my, you know, camera on my iPhone. I've got an iPhone 8, which takes decent pictures. But definitely not like this fucking thing. Oh, it's so dope. I have so much fun taking pictures with it. Photography is one of those things I want to learn. Like, I, I wrote down a list of seven things I can learn a little bit about every day. If I've got some time, you know, cars, guns, uh, music theory, um, and photography's on there. Because that shit is uh, really fucking dope. And I feel like if you just learn even a little bit, you can get some really outstanding pictures. But I'm busy enough as it is. Oh, dude, final is weak. It has been a grind this quarter. I'm still busting ass on this witchcraft class. Uh, what is it? Um, History of the Great European Witch Craze. So it's, uh, it's pretty interesting. It's online. Lots of books. The books I'm reading right now are The Devils of London. Witchcraft in Europe, 1100 to 1700, and Servants of Satan. So, um, it's right up your alley. I was actually asked by some people, I will leave nameless, uh, who, they, they want these books when I'm done with this class. Man, the Wonder Woman trailer came out today. Wonder Woman 84, fuck yeah, that's gonna be dope, dude. I'm pumped about that. The first Wonder Woman was sick as fuck. Um, I saw it twice because the first time I got too baked and, and fell asleep right at the end. Um, but god damn it, that was a fucking good ass movie. They really, DC really pulled that one off. Aquaman though? What in the fuck? Like, I don't know. It, it, it was entertaining enough, but it was, d dude. When they started playing the Pitbull version of Africa by Toto, I was like, is this a fucking joke? Because I was pirating it. I was like, is this a... Is this... Oh my god, that was... I actually turned it off when that happened. I watched that movie in two sittings. I watched, uh, I think, like one other movie to memory in sittings, and that was Watchmen, also a DC movie by Zack Snyder that sucks fucking dick. Um... I remember when it came out, I was I was pretty young, and it was rated R, so I wasn't going to be allowed to see it, but I really, really wanted to fucking see that movie. I remember playing the demo of the video game on the PS3, and just, oh my god, Roar, Rorschach and shit. God damn it, it looked so cool to me. And, and when my parents saw it, I remember them saying, like, yeah, there were more, uh, there was more dick swinging around than there were fight scenes. I was like, wow, okay, that sucks. But basically when I got old enough, also pirated this one. Um, basically when I got old enough, I was like, you know, I'm going to fucking watch that movie. Even if it is bad, I'm determined. Because I wanted to see it so bad as a kid. Took me three fucking sittings, dude. It's like, it's unbearable at points. And it follows, I'm pretty sure it follows the fucking... Um, comic pretty accurate the graphic novel except at the end uh god damn that movie was hard to get through but the new hbo show is the fucking shit dude it is so dope it's like a sequel to the graphic novel um jeremy irons is in it uh oh my god is it fucking awesome it takes so many creative risks which is just so so refreshing. There's actually an episode tonight. It's part of the reason I might have to cut this podcast short. I'm like, because I'm I'm baked right now, I really want to work on tunes. I'm trying to 
finish this fucking album. Um, and it's a, a pain in the ass. I have like a sheet and I'm uh, trying to just at least spend 15 minutes on one song every day. But that always leads to more than I have to stay up to do more homework. Um, you know what else happened today? This is really fucking sad. Juice World died. I don't, uh, by the time I put this out, that's probably old news, but, um, that's sad as fuck, dude. He, like, just turned 21. That is so fucking sad. I don't want to, you know, be a bummer, but, oh my god. He had a line about that. Like, what's a 27 club not gonna make it past 21? Mac Miller also had a line that was something like, so to everyone I buy my drugs from, don't mix it with that bullshit. It's like, fuck, dude. That is sad as fuck. He had another heartbreaking set of lines. Like, there was one song where he said, um, I experiment with drugs, but I won't ever fuck with a yay. And then in another song, my favorite Mac Miller song, it is called New Faces V2, featuring Dash and Earl Sweatshirt. It's only on YouTube. I, I don't know if it's on Spotify. I don't have Spotify. Um, it is so fucking awesome. But he has some line that's like, All my life I've been afraid of powder. All my life I've been afraid of power. Where did all that go? It's like, fucking shit, dude. That is a bummer. But, you know, there's nothing I can do about it. Um, wow. I, I don't have a segue. At all, I'm just also sort of thinking about that the next Venom movie might be rated R. Which can probably be attributed to Joker's success. Which was a fucking awesome movie, by the way. I might have talked about that on the last one. Holy shit. You know, I'm talking about DC a lot. Um, but they really fucking killed Joker. I saw that shit twice. It is fucking awesome. I'm still trying to figure it out, dude. Really fucking cool. And Todd Phillips, what what other movies has he done? The fucking Hangover movies. Like, bro, good. that's awesome. Good for everybody involved. You had to sort of know, though, like when Joaquin got cast, that it was gonna be, it was, it was gonna be awesome. I was hoping they would, you know, before they released any details, I was hoping they would do a lot more to differentiate it from. Heath Ledger's and make it more like a, I don't know I really like the idea the classic idea that Joker fell into fat of acid but um, I think what we got is better than whatever that would have been oh man what a fucking dumb movie but a Venom rated R sequel that first movie was also entertaining enough but I, I definitely felt like that should have been R rated that would have been dope as shit. I watched that movie late as fuck. It was just... when it was, I was excited to see it, and then when it got to theaters, I was like, yeah, I don't want to pay money to see that. That happens to me so rarely. There's so many movies. Oh, Doctor Sleep, that just happened to me. That sucks, dude. I really wanted to support that movie in the theaters. I bet it's dope. <coughs> I bet Ewan McGregor's Obi-Wan show is going to be even fucking doper, though. Are you shitting me? God damn it, that gives me a boner, thinking about that show. That's good. It's, oh, it's going to be so fucking good. I hope. I hope. I've said that before about other Star Wars projects, and they've fucked me. They've fucked me. Like The Last Jedi. What in the fuck? Someone explain that fucking movie to me. Someone... That that film took so much away from the franchise as a whole. Like, it's really hard for me to say, honestly, that I'm a Star Wars fan. Because I'm more... I'm really just, like, an original trilogy fan. Episode 1 is ass... Episode 2, ass. Ass. Dude. Pfft. Don't even fuck with me. It, it, my buddy... I might have talked about this on the last one. Oh my god. 
I guess this is what happens when you do a stone podcast. Well, anyways, I'll make it short. My buddy Brett said uh, he's never really seen Star Wars, so he started it from Episode 1. So that prompted me to go watch Episode 1 again. I was like, yeah, let's. Let, it's been a while, let's see what it is. Got through it, but it fucking sucked dick. Watched Episode 2, turned it off. I... 45 minutes max. Absolute fucking max. I, it was absolute... They, they made fucking Anakin just seem like a little fucking child. Oh, big boy, does it see it that way? It's like, dude, shut the fuck up. Episode 3 was mostly good, though. It had two of the best lightsaber fights of all time. That's for sure. General Grievous was cool as shit. But um, Palpatine versus Yoda is like the most badass lightsaber fight in all of Star Wars, in my opinion. Oh, it's that... Oh, Yoda just fucking jumping around. Oh my god, is that badass. And the, um, the fight with Ewan McGregor and uh, Hayden Christensen was really well choreographed, I thought. And I, I think it ages well. And dude, that last scene, when he cuts his legs off, oh my god. That was a heartbreaking scene. It it ended on a really strong note, I thought. Um, so I, I do like that movie. And I also like Rogue One. I watched that recently again. That movie's awesome. Really good addition to the Star Wars franchise. It, it like... It did a really good job of inserting itself and making it important enough to the larger picture, but also being so separate from everything else we've seen. So, really well done. I thought that was awesome. Force Awakens, eh. Kylo Ren in The Force Awakens is cool. I really wish he kept, like, the helmet and hood for The Last Jedi, because I thought that was... Uh, dope look um yeah i just really from the start didn't like the whole idea that luke was gonna be a hermit like that that oh. so from the get-go that felt like a betrayal of his character to me because luke is the epitome of optimism and uh and so, yeah, right from the start, that was like, what in the fuck? Where is this going? But when it ended, I was like, okay, all right, this can go somewhere. It wasn't as good as I had hoped, but it's like, how do you make a follow-up? Everyone already has their own, their own idea of what the next franchise should be. And actually, my buddy, I'm calling you out here, Gabe fucking spoiled it for me my my dad's a disney employee so we get a free screening so i was seeing it like the day after it came out all my friends saw it they come over and i'm i'm like yeah don't talk about it like i'm seeing it tomorrow and fucking gabe goes oh kylo ren kills han solo and i was like oh you fu i i told him i literally told him dude if that's true then you're banned from my house for three months and that motherfucker did not come over for at least three months. I was so mad about that. God, why the fuck would you do that? Um, I was still surprised by the fact that uh, he was... That Han was Kylo Ren's dad. I don't know how the fuck that didn't get out. But that, that was a cool twist. I thought, but the last Jedi can... Hmm, where do I start? I just, I could say some really horrible, profane things about how I feel about that movie. But it's like, the, here's the thing. It's like, at least with the new trilogy, they're technically good movies. You know, really good. I mean, at, especially with The Force Awakens, really good imagery. J.J. Abrams is like a visual fucking genius. With, oh, some of his shots are absolutely absolutely bizarre there was a there was actually one shot we had as our desktop on our like um family computer downstairs for a while of a tie fighter silhouetted in the sun oh my god he's so good at that shit and and the visuals are awesome you know the cg and shit but um so that's they're already i think better than episode one and two in that way 
But The Last Jedi just fucking... One, the Leia scene. Let's just... Uh, why the... F- she just flies in space? What the fuck? <sighs> I can't even... I'm skipping that subject because I, I can't even articulate all my opinions about that in into words. It's just, like, so frustrating on so many levels. Um, the Snoke... Snoke getting offed by Kylo Ren was fucking dope. I thought that was so cool. And I also liked that uh, Daisy Ridley's parents were nobodies. <coughs> if they reverse that on this next one, I'm sort of going to be pissed. Um, God, that would suck. So those, t- those two elements I did like a lot. And the throne room scene... The throne room scene, I did like it first, but I watched a video of stunt guys breaking it down, and now I can't like look at it the same because it actually sucks dick in that sense. Um, so that got taken away from me. I thought when I first saw that, like that's one of the best Star Wars scenes ever, but I, <laughs> that fucking one video ruined it for me. It's amazing how shit can do that. Oh man, I really want to watch tonight's episode. I'm gonna be, I'm like scared that it's uh, gonna get spoiled for me. Not this week's episode, but next week's because I'll be in Disneyland, so I won't have a chance to watch it. And it's the season finale, so I know everyone's gonna be talking about it. Fuck, what am I gonna do? Oh my god, I'll probably. Should I be saying that? Can I get in trouble for No, I don't do that now, actually, because it was cool when I was living at, like, a big apartment. Um, but now that I'm paying for my own Wi-Fi, I'm too sketched to do that. I don't want to fucking get a letter from Comcast that says they're going to end my goddamn payment. Oh, I still have so much witchcraft shit to do. I mean, not really. It's just a lot of reading. I'm... Um, I've always been a, a pretty decent writer for school, and I, I can always bust it out fast, and that's never the problem. It's just, I think I'm just a fucking really slow reader. I It's not that I'm bad at reading, or like stumble, or have, I have a hard time. I, it just takes me fucking forever to get through like 20 pages. It's a long time. I'm... I was, not so much anymore, I was in, like, middle school, that kid who would highlight everything. And I take a lot of notes. And my notes are really, uh, not trying to pat myself on the back here, but my notes are really well organized. And so, like, trying to stick in that sort of framework sort of takes up a lot of time when I'm, you know, like, doing dashes and arrows. And, um, so I partially attribute it to that. Because pretty much only the only time I'm reading is when it's for school. So I'm taking notes. Actually, in high school, my mom read two books to me. Because I didn't want to read them. How fucking dope is that? My freshman year. I don't even remember how it started. She definitely does. Because she thinks I'm embarrassed by it. So, I, you know. Um, I'm, I'm definitely not. It was so fucking dope. <coughs> She read me, ah, uh, shit. Oh, God, what's it called? To Kill a Mockingbird. Awesome book. Also, really good movie. Uh, what else? did? It, well, that that year I read by myself, Animal Farm. So shitty. God damn, I need to get some water. <coughs> Coughing up. Oh. And, uh, Of Mice and Men. Not a great book. Decent enough movie. My dad was actually in that play in, in college, I think. Um, and we also, I think as the final assignment, got to like pick our own book to read. We just had to do a report on it. So my parents convinced me to do The Strain, which was conceived by... The idea was conceived by Guillermo del Toro, and him and another dude, whose name I can't remember, wrote it as a book. And then it became an FX show. <coughs> oh my god. I'm dying over here. Um, I didn't finish the first season of the show. It was really entertaining. I just sort of fell off for some reason. And, ooh. 
Yeah, the book was really fucking cool, though. It's like a vampire thing, but a really unique take. Like, instead of fangs... Oh, dude. It's like their whole body changes, and basically all their internal organs turn into one giant tongue. It's like a fucking eight-foot-long tongue with two little stingers at the end that, uh, that they use to infect you. And it's like a little worm. It's a parasite, and that's, like, uh, the sort of scientific explanation behind the vampires. But they're all, I think, a hive mind. It's been a while. But it was really, really cool. And my mom read that to me, too. So fun. It, it was like... It was like I was six years old again. Literally, at the end of the night, curl up in bed. Mom would just fucking sit there and read me a book. It was so dope. I, uh, I really miss the days back in, uh, you know, the old North Bend when I'd be fucking watching my same VHS tape for a whole month at a time. That's how I rolled. We had a crazy amount of VHS tapes. And, uh, oh my god, so many. So many of them were Disney. That was, like, all I grew up on was Disney VHS tapes. And, um, I would watch, like, one for a month at a time. And then I'd switch it out to another, then to another. And, like, the big ones were definitely Hercules, Mulan, uh, Tarzan. Tarzan was actually the first movie I ever saw in my entire life. Came out the month I was born. Um, so my parents took me to a theater, I assume, which I didn't know you do to a baby. But, uh, not, not judging their parenting here. I have no idea. I haven't had to look into that shit. Uh, <laughs> what was it? Oh, yeah, no, I had a loincloth as a kid, actually. My mom made me loincloth out of uh, out of one of my dad's old shirts. She actually made my cousin one too. And dude, we actually we still have it. That knot has never been undone. My little brother, both of my little brothers, inherited it at some point. Oh my god, I would run around in that thing so much. I had so much fun in it. So what? Mulan, Hercules, Tarzan, who? Peter Pan, for sure, loved Peter Pan. Still love Peter Pan. Oh, man, there were so many, actually. I don't know why the fuck I'm trying to recall them all. I had so many. I, I really wish I still had those. Because I would fuck up a VHS player. I, uh, I actually bought one, like, my senior year of high school. I bought one from Value Village. And it, it worked. It turned on. But it did not, like except a VHS tape. I was so, so fucking upset about it. I was going to watch Beauty and the Beast. That was another big one. Another huge one. Beauty and the Beast is an incredible movie. I love the original Beauty and the Beast so much that you know what I did for my 18th birthday? Instead of going to the titty bar, like most of my friends... As a gift, my parents paid for us to go see the live-action one. And I was real disappointed, let me tell you. God damn it. It's just that, I know they were doing all the live-action movies, but they should have just left that one alone. Like, it was... Emma Watson's voice was so auto-tuned. Like, oh, what in the fuck? Beast was just... It was weird. It was weird. And there were definitely some good parts. Like, um, fuck, what's it? Luke Evans. Luke Evans' guest on was really awesome. And Josh Gad as LeFou was also really awesome. Um, I liked that version of guest on, but it was, oh, that movie, dude. There's just something about it that's bad. It's just bad. I don't know why they have to remake all their movies. Mulan is not going to have Mushu? What in the fuck? What? Why would you even make it? Jesus Christ, dude. I'll give it a chance. Maleficent really was not good. I, it was a quality movie. And I just didn't like that they were making her the hero. And I didn't see the new one, so... Oh, whatever. It's just like, why can't they just make original shit? Why do they have to remake everything? God damn it, it's so frustrating. They're making it Aladdin the sequel. I didn't even see Aladdin. Because it's like, yeah, I get it. Like, I've seen this movie. 
Lion King, though. John Favreau's Lion King. Amazing. I don't know how the fuck they pulled that off. But they they did it. So, congrats to them. Wow. I don't, like, the technology required for that absolutely blows my fucking brain. Oh, man. I can't believe Juice World died. That's, that's so sad. Fuck it. Get off of that. I don't want to be a bummer. Bring that shit up. Like I said, by the time of this airs, that's going to be old news. Man, I am so fucking pumped for Disneyland, though. If you don't know this about me, which, if you're listening, you almost definitely do, um really like Disney and go to Disneyland like once a year when I was a kid my parents would take us twice a year sometimes and I remember when it was just my my older sister Nara and I we uh <laughs> we would go for like eight or nine days at a time one because we were younger you know like first grade second grade um so we could afford to miss that many days of school you know and also because it was cheaper because it was just the four of us and then we had two more. We, like, all four of us fucking can see them. Um, my parents had Ryder and Parker <coughs> in that order. And pretty soon after, because they had, it was Nara, me five years later, Ryder five years later, and then Parker, uh, like, just over a year later, I think. I'd, I'd have to think about that. God damn. My throat is never this fucking dry from smoking. I am a bitch. I am just so excited to do shit with my niece and nephew. I've been with my nephew before. He was really little. This is going to be um, Nani's first time. Oh my god, I'm looking at a picture of her right now. She is so fucking cute. Oh my god, and you know what I really can't wait for? Is this, sh- there is gonna, because they're three and two, respectively. Um, they, there is gonna be a lot of shit they can't do. And I just can't wait to, like, sit out on the rides with them. Fuck around with them. Oh my god, those kids are so much fucking fun. That's gonna be awesome. But I'm also gonna have competition for that role, because... We're going to have a lot of people there who also love these kids because it's impossible not to. God, they can really brawl, let me tell you. Oh, I really want to get my fucking nephew on, on this smuggler's run ride. Dude, I can't believe I'm going to Star Wars land. Fuck. That is so soon. That is going to be so fucking dope, dude. I've I've avoided... Since it's come out, this has been a while. Like I've avoided videos and and of of the rides and everything except the lightsaber thing. <coughs> oh my god, that like I wish I had two hundred bucks to make a lightsaber. That would it looks so fucking dope. How you do it? You you go in, you pick all this different shit. Oh, fucking. You cast the, like, plastic and shit while you're there. So fucking cool. Yoda talks and shit. I got that Jedi Fallen Order game, and uh, the lightsaber customization on that is fucking wicked. I don't play a lot of video games, but when I do, I get really fucking into them. And this game is awesome. So much shit to explore. Lots of uh, replay value. There's just, like... The world seems so small at first, but they get so, so fucking big. <coughs> Highly recommend. I've had an insane amount of fun on it. It's also kind of fucking hard, though. I was playing on uh, Jedi Master, I think. It said The description said, like, wants a challenge familiar with hand-to-hand games or whatever. And I was like, all right, that's perfect. And it, and it was. It was so fun. It was really hard at times, though. There were a couple glitches that were making me so fucking mad. But every game sort of has their thing. Except Spider-Man. If Spider-Man PS4 were a game, I'd suck its dick. Because it's just so awesome. It's so, so much fucking fun. I really wanted God of War. Those came out at the same time. 
but I didn't fucking, uh, I didn't get that. It's pretty cheap right now, I bet. But I just got into a video game and, like, spent a bunch of time playing it, so I can't really justify doing that again right now. I, um, have a bunch of ass to bust. Like I said, I'm trying to finish this album. I'm trying to do more podcasts, just get more content out generally. I'm trying to write this book. I'm trying to go to school. I'm trying to work. Oh, pity me. Pity me. Oh my god. I can't stand it. Gotta do a lot in a day. I just... I hate wasting time. And today, I wasted so much time. You know what time I woke up today? 3.53 in the afternoon. Because I didn't get home until like 6 something. That's, That's still no excuse. What in the fuck? That, oh, excuse me. That made me so fucking mad. When I got up, I was like, are you? Oh, that was so fucked up. But I've still been busting my shit out today, so I feel good about that. I always put everything I have to do in the day on a uh, on this whiteboard calendar because it feels really good to cross shit off, and it makes it like mentally easier to keep going because it's like, well, you know... You busted this much shit out. Just, like, keep going. Even a little shit. Like, I make my bed every day. Um, Because it's just, especially in the morning, you need those little wins. You know, like, fuck yeah, I already made my bed. Like, I'm going to go to class and I'm going to kill it today. That makes it sound like I have a problem with not going to class. This history class I've been taking this quarter had a pretty lax attendance policy, I think. Um, like, don't, don't get me wrong, in-class participation is definitely a big part of the grade, but, uh, but, like, I feel like it wouldn't be, he, it wouldn't be, like, a huge deal if he didn't go, but, um, I had to go to every single class because there are so, they are so dense. That hour and 20 minutes, oh my god, so, I take so many notes in that. It is rapid-fire notes, like, this is this is the first class that's actually met that sort of like movie level uh, stereotype of what college is like, where you're just insanely writing notes, the teachers rattling off. And I don't mean that in a bad way. He's he's a really good teacher, um, really really good lecturer, and like he organizes the class really well. I really appreciate a teacher who does that. I had a history teacher spring of last year who really organized the class too it was a gender history class and it was absolutely absurd but um he was really passionate about it so and he he still made it really interesting uh and he the the oh it was organized so well he'd have like three main points on the board at a time and uh and he'd have like a pretty elaborate explanation of of each like a I don't know, five, six sentence paragraph of each and you'd keep it up on the board so you could write that down, just like all the big ideas and he'd just like elaborate on on each one long enough for you to uh, to write it down and then move on to the next thing. It was I really appreciate that shit. One of the best classes I've ever taken was at Bellevue College and I'm not gonna lie, I can't remember can't remember the teacher's name. And I can't remember what class it was. I think it was probably a communications class. Don't even remember what the content was because I didn't do the homework. And then class participation was like how the class was run. It was like one of those classes where you go in and he's sort of like, all right, here you go. Like, I'm throwing this statement out. Let's talk about it or you're all going to get quizzed super hard. And, um... So you really had to do the reading, but I would literally come in. Because I, I had like 10 minutes to spare before my last class. So I'd come in and really jot down some shit. Like skim through the readings, jot down some shit. Because I'm a really good bullshitter. Um, and I would just elaborate on those points all class. It was like me and four other kids like talked pretty much exclusively. And another one of those kids was named Aiden. Uh, it was dope though. I like I learned so much shit in that class and like I said I can't even remember 
I, it must have been a communications class. It's so weird because I, I can't remember it, but I just remember really liking it, really taking a lot away that I feel like it's now just second nature to me. Well, you know, I think the rambling has to come to an end. It's like 10 to 30 now, getting sort of late. Got to stop by office hours tomorrow. Finish this fucking final. Go to Disneyland like a boss. Get stoned as fuck. All right, dudes, I'll talk to you soon. Peace out.